California's gold is produced in association with KCET Los Angeles and is seen statewide on California public television. This series is endorsed by the California Teachers Association, the California School Boards Association, and the California Library Association. California's Gold is brought to you by Ford with a world of new ideas that make being out on the road more fun and more economical. Like SYNC, the hands-free communication and entertainment system from Microsoft. It lets you order up practically anything you want to hear just by asking. And turn-by-turn -turn navigation gets you exactly where you want to go. Ford hopes you enjoy traveling through California with Huell Hauser, perhaps in one of our remarkable new products. Hello everybody, I'm Huell Hauser, and this is a hot dog, uncooked. And this is a stick, and most of us, when we look at this, we see a hot dog and a stick. But there was a fella in California back in the 1940s who looked at these two items and said, you know what, I'm gonna put this hot dog on a stick. And in so doing, he created a business that has literally become iconic in California. Hot dog on a stick. That's what this episode is all about. Hot dog on a stick, which is very much a part of California's goal. Hot dog! Hot Dog on a Stick has been an American and a California icon since 1946. The company is 100% owned and operated by its employees. And what began as an entrepreneurial dream on the beaches of Southern California has now grown into an organization of over 100 stores in 11 states. The first mall location opened in 1973, and today, most of the locations are in malls. But the very first location was on the beach in Santa Monica, in a standalone building. And guess what? It's still there, in its original spot. And that's where we went for our hot dog on a stick adventure. And here we are at our historic place, Hot Dog on a Stick. And Diane, you're out here to greet us. I certainly am, welcome. I noticed that you were visiting with these people. Where are you all from? We're from uh, Chappaqua, New York. So I you're, New York you're a tourist out here. Yep. Absolutely. Now, are you planning on getting a Hot Dog on a Stick? Have, you? Do you know what Hot Dog on a Stick is? Well, we visited our cousin, he just told us, and now that you're here, I think we're gonna do that. Good, so you live out here. Yeah. You know about Hot Dog on a Stick. I live in the Palisades. Tell me about Hot Dog on a Stick. Um, they're probably the only good hot dogs I've ever had. Oh my gosh, <laughs> Diane. I, I didn't pay this kid. I don't know. I've never oh seen him before. Oh my gosh, this is your little nephew here, isn't he? Well, Should we're be. better stick around. You all go on and you're in for a treat. Okay. Okay. Get the lemonade too. I will. Now we should introduce Diane formally because Diane is not just any run-of-the-mill hot dog on a stick lady. No. Tell us your connection with hot dog on a stick. My father started the company uh, 50 years ago right here on Muscle Beach and now we have 95 stores across so the country. So your father was the founder yes. of hot dog on a stick. Yes sir. And this was the first hot dog on a stick stand. Yes it was. And it grew into a hot dog on a stick empire of sorts, <laughs> didn't it? It has. Where are they located now? There, we have them from Alaska to New Jersey, Hawaii, but they're concentrated on the West Coast. You have a hot dog on a stick in Alaska? Yes, we do. Just for fun. <laughs> Just for fun. My dad, my dad was a nut. He said, I'm going to be in Alaska. I want to be coast to coast. He's in New Jersey. But and most are here in California. Most in California, yeah. And let's walk over i don't even know really where to begin there's so much to learn oh here's a hot dog on a stick right here have you ever had one? Oh yes they're great uh-huh absolutely wonderful i love them they're my favorite and you've got the lemonade which That's is right. another favorite around here you ever had a hot dog on a stick mm -hmm. good everybody likes them the lemonade's great the lemonade's great yeah. and here fellas getting 
Y'all are getting hot dog on a stick yeah, or the lemonade? And, and lemonade, actually. It's 100 degrees, and I think some cool, refreshing lemonade would be delicious. Absolutely. What about it? Lemonade. Lemonade. Love the lemonade and the hot dogs. Stay away from the cheese on the sticks, though. <laughs> this guy came from Italy for lemonade. What? This guy came from Italy for lemonade. I have trouble believing that, but since, Patrick, girl, excuse me, look since you have been here from Italy, you have probably gotten into this whole hot dog on a stick thing, haven't you? Uh, yeah, yeah. You don't have sure. anything like this there, do no. you? No. Never, never happened before in Italy. <laughs> See, I, I think like that. <laughs> This is amazing. <laughs> it I truly mean, is. Uh, see, here's a guy. Look at this. This is the classic hot dog on a stick That's customer right. right here. Lemonade and hot, hot dog, dog on, on a stick. stick. It's wonderful. How many years you been eating these things? Oh, four or five at least. Oh, you're a newcomer. You're right, right, right. Because this has been here for 50 years. 50? Yes, 50. I had no idea. This woman's father started it. Is that right? Yes, sir. Wonderful. That's great. He wanted to quit his night job at Lockheed and go into business for himself. So he opened this stand. Mm -hmm. I think that's great. I yeah. had no clue that it was 50 years, though. Yeah, no well, see, idea. that's what we're here to we, do, we is to tell you everything you've ever wanted to know about Hot Dog on a Stick yeah. and more. Yeah, it, it's amazing, because we've come down here with our little grandson, and he played over in the, uh, the, the, the playground there with uh -huh. the dragon and all. How old were you, Derek? About two? Uh -huh. That's six years ago already. And I had no clue. I don't think... Did we know it was here then? probably didn't pay attention. So that's how you got hooked on it, was through your grandson. Yeah, right, right. Today, well, that's why we're here today, because of him. He says, got to have a hot dog on a stick. <laughs> well, you're doing a good business here. You sure are. 100 uh, degrees, we better. Have you always done a good business? Uh, what was the first reaction when Hot Dog on a Stick opened up 50 years ago? Because it was kind of revolutionary, wasn't it? it? I think it was a hard sell in the beginning. It's like, what is that? It's Hot Dog on a Stick. Uh, it just grew. I mean, as, as long as I've known it, in the 50s, it's been popular, especially in California. Now, did he come up with the idea of dipping the dogs in the batter? Who he, came up with it? He this? wasn't the first, um, but he took it, and I think he perfected it and popularized it. Uh -huh. But there was, there was a, another outfit that was doing a hot dog in a cornmeal batter prior to him. Now, I've seen your scrapbook, and it was the first time I noticed that this place hasn't always been called Hot Dog on a Stick. It was Party Puffs. Already. Party Puffs? <laughs> Party well, how did he come up with that name? I don't know, and nobody else could understand it either, so he went with the generic Hot Dog on a Stick, self-explanatory. Uh -huh. self so how long was it Party Puffs? Uh, maybe a year or two, yeah. not very long. And I noticed in some of the early pictures also, it's obvious that some of the guys and the women standing out front have come right across the street from Muscle Beach, because Muscle Beach was just right in this area. That's correct. That's correct. Volleyball so, players and uh, bodybuilders. So he had a ready-made clientele from the very beginning. That's right. All right. They're eating up their hot... Is that still... No, that's not a hot dog on a stick. Peppermint. Uh, pepper, jack. pepper jack with cheese. That's it's a, one it's of the amazing. cheese ball. It's amazing. Oh, boy, this little guy's going into advertising <laughs> when he grows up. A little adoption. What did you say? It's amazing. <laughs> she said it's amazing, too. Now this is a hot dog on a stick. Yeah. Boy, your kids are not shy, no. are they? No, they're not shy at all, These especially are... when it comes to food. Yeah, or they being on television. They say what they want. Absolutely. Or being on television. All right, well, howdy. Hey, hi, you all. Are you here to get a hot dog on a stick? You know, I've my kids worked here when I was, uh, you know, had, had them playing volleyball out here. Come on, bud. And uh, we, our life was kind of uh, around here. So your kids worked over here? Yeah, and um, we played volleyball out here, and... We watch your show every how week. Many, how many hot dog on a sticks do you figure you've eaten in your lifetime? About three. Oh, <laughs> well, now wait a minute, Diane. Well, we used to know Dave, the owner. He uh -huh. was a yeah. real good friend of ours. Yeah. And we used to eat him back in those days, but yeah. we, we don't have back much. Away. This is Dave's daughter. I'm Are you Dave's daughter? Yeah. 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 Well, yeah. Hi. Yeah. Hi. Yeah. Glad to know you. Good. Golly. And your brother, Gary? Yeah, Gary? He's sure. He's a volleyball player. Exactly. Mm -hmm. I played tournaments with Gary. Oh, really? oh yeah. Oh. Bobby Barber. He's up in Sacramento right Is now he? running the fair. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> We've got a lot of activity going on all over the place here. They're busy eating. It's a good, a good product. Very good product. It's been 
Well, how come you've only eaten three of them? Well, I had a lot more in the old days. Oh, I got you. <laughs> What's in your diet now? <laughs> sort of today he's had three. Oh, today he's had three. I got you. Well, we're going to, since we're hooked up with Diane, we're going to get the special behind the scenes, inside, behind the glass tour of hot dog on a stick. That'll be, that'll be terrific. You ever been inside the inner sanctum? Never have. Just look through the glass. We'll check you out. You got I a lot of girls in there to look at. I know. With the lemons and the whole thing. <laughs> well, it's become its own little subculture, hasn't it? This hot dog on a stick. Particularly Thanks, this fellas. Thank nice meeting you. So really, the volleyball players, there are none playing today, but the beach has always been uh, right in here, volleyball, muscle beach, that whole idea. My dad wanted to work a little bit, play a little volleyball. Really? Swim a little, work a little. That was his idea. So he yep. participated in all this absolutely. sport. Absolutely. Oh, absolutely. And now, what was he always in this kind of a business? He, start, he was a farmer in Missouri growing up. Moved to Detroit to uh, wash windows. Said, I got to get out of the snow. Moved to California. And what did so, he do when he got out here? Uh, he worked at Lockheed. Uh, he was testing radio equipment during the war. And as soon as the war was over, he said, enough of this. I'm going, I'm going to the beach. I want to play volleyball. And, and work a little some, and play a little. Some excuse for being out here. Exactly. And that was Hot Dog on a Stick, which started off as another name. Party Puff. Party Puffs. The Party Puffs chapter of this story is a rather short one and yeah, not very eventful. We don't talk about it much. <laughs> so let's go inside. Come on in. Uh, nice to meet you all. Okay. Say Thank good you. things about uh, Hot Dog on a Stick when you head back to New York. We can see if we can open one maybe. How's that? Okay. We're heading in. Oh my gosh, she's, she's churning the lemonade. Look at this, Louie. When you get in here and look at this, now this is another one of the legends of hot dog on a stick. It is, the lemonade is hand squeezed, handmade, every two hours. We throw this, it away if it doesn't sell. This takes a lot of, turn around and give us a look at the camera while you're doing that. This takes a lot of muscle power, doesn't it? Oh yeah, it? of course it does. But is you there, get used to it easily though. Is there a technique? Yes, there is a technique. You want to use your whole body and not just your arms and your you want your upper body. You want to use as well as your lower body. Uh -huh. So that's why I kind of bounce when I'm beating. So I'm using my lower body as well as my upper body. And let's pull this out so we can see it. This is just, you just got a bunch of sliced up lemons in there. There's lemons, ice, water, and sugar in here. And we beat it all together to make our fresh lemonade. Wow. And why? How did he come up with that? The, this whole... It was originally it was supposed to be a health drink. He made it with honey, but that didn't sell. It was to be fresh, vitamin C, refreshing, and something different. Yeah. And he specialized, never sold another drink with it. Really? What's this over here? That's I've a, never... Uh, it's our original lemonade with cherry flavoring. Okay, so this is... You only sell lemonade? Only lemonade. And you only sell, basically, hot dog on a stick, except now you got these cheese things. The, yes, cheese. We have American cheese or pepper jack cheese dipped in the same cornmeal batter, my grandmother's recipe from Missouri. But that's a new thing, isn't it? Uh, he, the cheese is... 30 years. Really? Yeah, long time. Well, let's go back, though, to the original. Um, let's get one of the ladies in here. Who wants to show us, take us through the process of hot dog on a stick? How to make one? Yeah. Yeah, give us the give us the walk through here. Well, we they're the they're oh. the hot dogs on a stick. <laughs> yes, and then we freshly dip them in our cornmeal batter. Twist them how many times? Well, we have to wrap the whole hot dog in the batter, so uh -huh. we lay it in the batter and we just okay, cover hold them, them in up batter. again. Let's see that. That's a you sight see. to see there. And you spin them as you come up, and you hold them up really high for all the customers to see. And how much dripping goes on before you know you've dripped too much off or not enough or? You kind of do it by eye. I got gotcha. you. <laughs> and then you just brought them right up. Yeah. And put them right in. And they clip right on there to the end. Do one more for us. Two more for us. You do them two at a time, don't you? Yeah. It's quicker that way. And show us that wrist action when you bring them up. All you do is you cross, and then you bring your elbows to your side and turn the hot dogs right up. Wow. Pretty simple. And how long does it take to cook? Three minutes. Exactly. Exactly. To a dark golden brown. To a dark golden brown. Mm -hmm. Now, is this something that's 
you know, all of these words. Is there a, is there a hot dog on a stick manual that you all have to stick? Word for word. Everything I just said is word for word in the manual. Really? Mm -hmm. That's correct. That's true. <laughs> so if I had come down to interview a hot dog on a stick lady 30 years ago, she would have said the same thing that you just said. Exactly. So you're carrying on this tradition, aren't you? Exactly. We perfected it back in 1946, and it's been perfect ever since. See, I like the way she <laughs> says we. See, she's thinking of the whole, the family, the company, the I whole. I think everybody feels like they were there. Yep. A little bit. Definitely. <laughs> I never met Dave, but I feel like I totally know him from everyone who has. Really? Yeah. Now, what made you decide to come to work here? Um, Did you always want to be a hot dog on a stick, girl? Was, yeah, when I was little, people, I, like my mom used to take me to hot dog on a stick, and I'm like, oh my gosh, they look like they're having so much fun. So when I was 16, I filled out an application, and here I am, four yeah, years later. But, but let me ask you all, now come over here, because I want to get all of y'all at one time when I ask this question. What is the most asked question you all get? Do you have to wear that hat? <laughs> that, I knew it was going to have something to do with the hats. Because everybody I told that I was coming out to do hot dog on a stick said, you've got to ask them, where in the world did they get those hats? We wouldn't work here if they, we didn't have the hat. We no fight way. for the hat. Really? We love that. Hat? No way. What? Absolutely not. It's, it's all about the hat. Really? Definitely. And now let's get the inside story on the hat. Where did the, you know where they came from, don't you? I think they have something to do with the with the derby, like Dave, like the way that derby hats looked or something like that. That's what I've jockey heard. Hat. Jockey hat. Jockey hat. It in nineteen about nineteen sixty six, jockey hats and go go boots were in fashion. Uh -oh. Hot pants and Dad said that's it. That's the way I'm going. So they used to wear hot pants. Oh, yeah. no. Well, they were a little shorter, a little tighter. Yeah. <laughs> they were a little shorter. When I started, they were. You, you wore hot pants? Oh, no, they were and short. And go-go boots? No. no not go-go boots, but um, definitely a shorter <laughs> short. I had the athletic shoe, tennis and, shoes. And what do you think about these? this I outfit? Love I love them. I wouldn't work here if he wouldn't wear, if he didn't wear these. Really? This outfit. I love it. It totally down, makes me stand out. Totally. Yeah. When we walked down the street, we were walking on the promenade last night, and people were like yelling to us, like, hot dog on a stick. I want a hot dog. I want a lemonade. People know who we so are. Friendly. From, like, they're so away. friendly. Really? Because like, we walk up and down the promenade over on 3rd Street, and everybody just come up and they're like, hot dog. They, love us. they love us. Totally. Yeah. They love us. See, that's, that's part of it, isn't it? That you're not only, do you need to be squashing some more? Or are you? <laughs> It's, I, I never had really thought of that aspect of it, the friendliness and the outgoingness of the people who work here. In order to wear the outfit, you've got to have guts. And you do. You, I mean, you, you have to be different. You have to be outgoing. You want to have fun. And you want to be part of something special and different. Boy, there's a lot of work to being a hot dog on a stick employee. Look, she's, she still hadn't stopped on that. It's easy. You get used to it. You get muscles. <laughs> All of us, you got these arm muscles. I didn't have these before I started working here. Wow, this is this is a lot of fun. Um, it is. I, I really didn't realize that your dad had so ingrained this whole hot dog on a stick culture into. That's true. He he was he loved it. He was a part of it. He worked in it. Um, up till when he was ill, before he died seven years ago, he was on the phone saying, get out there and check on the stores. Now, where are, don't I see a lot of hot dog on a sticks at fairs and carnivals and... Right after he opened the store here, he started getting into the fairs, L.A. County Fair in 1948, the Del Mar Fair, Sacramento State Fair, and that's where it really was developed over the years at the fairs. Then you got in the shopping centers in the 70s. And are most of your, most of your, are they, are they franchised? They're all company owned. So you own the whole thing? Well, not me personally. When my uh, dad passed away seven years ago, he created an ESOP, which is an employee ownership plan. So the company is owned by the employees. Really? So like these? They all, they all earn stock. You They're own stock in hot dog on a stick? Yeah. I don't yet. Not yet. You see, you gotta be here a while. You, you have to you prove have to be yourself. You have and you have to work a year. I got gotcha. you. Well, now, do most of your employees just do this as a summer job, or uh, this I, is full time? Full time. Yep. 
since what I was about, 17. What about you? Um, I started working here when I was actually a, a sophomore in high school, and I'm my second year in college now, and I love it. And I've actually I've been doing serving you since. 1994. Oh, here it is. Serving you since 1994. Serving you since 1996. Look at serving you since 1968. Oh my gosh. That's when I officially started. I was 13. <laughs> Someday you'll have that on yours as well. Someday. And this this lady out here. Serving you since three weeks ago. Oh, you're the new one. She's a baby. She's yeah. A baby girl. Well, now how is it? How how hard is it to break in as a hot dog on a stick girl? Oh, it's not hard at all because everyone was so friendly. Like everyone was so like it was a part of the family. Like as soon as I got my hat, I was like, hey, I'm like the new baby in the family. So it was so easy to adapt. Like my first day was like, yes, I love it so much. I was so psyched and like my mom actually came to see me working and like I had someone else's name tag, but now I kind of have mine. Mine is getting made. So I'm yeah. gonna be so happy when I finally get my name tag. Is there like a coronation <laughs> um, uh, ceremony where the hat is placed <laughs> on the head? I don't know. You didn't God, get that. I remember when I when I first put my hat on, Taz helped me, and it was just so funny. It was such a funny experience. I couldn't stop laughing. Like, <laughs> well, this is great. I'm trying to think of more hot dog on a stick questions. I may be questioned out. What else? Do, what do people say to you when they find out you work here? They don't say a whole lot. They do this. Exactly. It's the motion. It's all yeah. the lemonade. Mm -hmm. Yep. Do you stomp on the lemonade? You stomp on the lemonade. That pogo stick? Yeah. We're like, nope. So actually, the lemonade is as much of the subculture as the hot dog on a stick itself. I mean, just as many people know this place because of the lemonade right, definitely. as the hot dog on a well, stick. This is our, our tribute yeah. <laughs> right here. It's our statue Speaking of lemonade. Of tribute, it's about 95 outside. Could I have a... a cool. uh, a, a big tall glass. Okay, carry your original. I want the original. Okay. I want the original. Now, how long do you have to keep doing that? Aren't you? No, it usually takes about 20 minutes. Off and on, 20 oh, minutes on. to make a lemonade. Not 20 minutes straight through, but off and on, 20 minutes. Wow. Well, this is very exciting. Let me have that. Oh, boy. Taste that. That's what it's all about. I've had it before. <laughs> so you all don't realize it, but I've been doing a lot of research for this story. I've been coming by here quietly. So that's you I've been seeing. Just ah, kind of seeing ah. how what was going on, seeing if you all were really that friendly all the time what or just think? when the cameras were here. <laughs> and I got to tell you, they all passed with flying oh, colors. All right. Yeah. No doubt. Yeah. <laughs> See, we already knew, though. We, yeah. don't, we weren't afraid. Yeah. We're always this way. What a nice bunch of employees. Well, thank you. We take pride in hiring the most outgoing, special, energetic kids we can. Now, who's this, who's this character standing out here? I'm John Barrow, Santa Monica. So do you remember Hot Dog on a Stick from years back? Oh, yes, yes. In fact, we had many stands in here at one time. We had a huge bathhouse that's all been removed because of the lifeguard station. Uh huh. But Hot Dog on a Stick has survived. Oh, yes, and doing a thriving business. And very beautiful young ladies. Boy, do you have all your stockholders down here it, saying it nice things? It seems like it. it all we've like heard it. are nice things about Hot Dog on a Stick. Right. But it's been great. And, and as I'm holding my lemonade, which I know has just been freshly squeezed, yes. your dad would be very, very proud. Well, thank you. Of, of how this is carrying on because it really was his vision that was really not shared by many people probably in those early days. They probably thought he was a little off. Oh, yeah, he was a little nutty. <laughs> <laughs> well, but I mean... Well, look! <laughs> but I mean, he, he had a vision and he kept to it and he had fun with it and he stayed true to himself the whole time. Yes, he did. Absolutely, and we try to carry on. I think we're doing a pretty good job. You're doing a great job. Where's my hot dog? There they are. Where are your hot dogs that you made? Here they oh, are. Oh, these are the ones I made. Yes. Well, they're a little... They're a little anemic. <laughs> they're a little interesting. Yeah. But they're special. You made them. Look at this one. Yeah, look at this. This has got a little crust on it, but the crust is good. <laughs> the crust is good. Now, wait a minute. I always put mustard on mine. Okay. Oh, now look at that, Louie. And you can have the other one, Louie. <laughs> this is great. How is it? 
it is definitely a hot dog on a stick. <laughs> Absolutely. Nadia, come over here because what we're going to do is close up our program. You know, there are a lot of very interesting people oh, down here on the, what do you call this, the strand, the boardwalk? I mean, the boardwalk. The, the boardwalk. The and we met there. this lady. Come on over, Nadia. Now, what do you, uh, introduce yourself. I'm Nadia Sachs. And I'm an artist here in um, Venice and Santa Monica. And we snagged you a minute ago. You were walking down the uh, boardwalk here playing a what? I'm playing a didgeridoo. This is an old instrument that I come out here and I love to play. A didgeridoo? A didgeridoo. Sounds fuel. like it's from Australia. It is. It's an ancient instrument that has survived civilization. And today we still play it. And uh, I do alternative music as well. What a perfect ending, alternative music in front of an alternative hot dog stand. You ever seen this before? I have not. Well, see, this is great. While we're showing our credits, we're going to listen to this music as we watch the hot dog on a stick being dipped. This is, I told you we were gonna be visiting a historic place and this is as historic and as much fun and as wonderful and as part of life here in California. This is very California. It's a part of my life, that's for sure. <laughs> it's part of all of our lives. Hot dog on a stick. There they are. Give us a wave, ladies. The Bye. hot dog on a stick, ladies. <laughs> Come down. California's Gold is brought to you by Ford with a world of new ideas that make being out on the road more fun and more economical. Like Sync, the hands-free communication and entertainment system from Microsoft. It lets you order up practically anything you want to hear just by asking. And turn-by-turn -turn navigation gets you exactly where you want to go. Ford hopes you enjoy traveling through California with Huell Hauser, perhaps in one of our remarkable new products. Well, hello, everybody. I'm Huell Hauser. And for those of you who want to share our California adventures with family and friends who live out of state, well, you can send them to our website at www.calgold.com where they'll find a link to iTunes and an ever-increasing number of episodes they can watch for free. We're taking California's gold worldwide on the web.